Mastering commas in nested relative clauses. Hello, language enthusiasts. In today's session, we're going to dive into a fascinating topic, punctuation in nested relative clauses, more specifically, using commas to separate nested clauses. I'm sure you all have experienced a time when you were uncertain about where to place commas in complex sentences. Well, we're here to shed light on that. Firstly, let's recall what nested relative clauses are. They are relative clauses that are embedded inside another clause, often another relative clause. This is a feature of more advanced English, allowing us to convey intricate and specific information in our sentences. Here's an example. The book, which I read last summer, which was written by John Green, was fantastic. The phrase in bold is a nested relative clause. There's a lot going on here. Now let's dive into the heart of our topic. Commas. Commas play a vital role in nested relative clauses. They act as a pause, helping to separate and define different parts of the sentence, making them easier to understand. Without commas, our example sentence becomes difficult to read. The book which I read last summer which was written by John Green was fantastic. With commas, the sentence becomes clearer. The book, which I read last summer, which was written by John Green, was fantastic. In the example above, the commas separate the nested relative clauses from the main clause, clarifying the meaning and making it more readable. Despite their importance, commas are often misused in nested relative clauses. Here are some common mistakes. 1. Not using any commas. This makes the sentence hard to read and understand, as seen in our earlier example. 2. Using too many commas. Overuse can confuse readers about which parts of the sentence are connected. To avoid these pitfalls, remember to use commas to set off non-essential information or to make the sentence clearer. However, if the information is essential to understanding the sentence, don't use commas. For example, incorrect. My brother, who is a doctor, has a son who is five years old. Correct. My brother, who is a doctor, has a son who is five years old. In the incorrect sentence, the comma after who in the second relative clause is unnecessary as the age of the son is essential information. And there we have it. We've unpacked the tricky subject of using commas in nested relative clauses. It can be a challenge, but with practice, you'll master it. We hope you found this video helpful, and we encourage you to practice what you've learned today. As always, keep learning, keep practicing, and see you next time.